This was a train wreck for the Obama administration. This law looks like it's going to be struck down. I'm telling you, um, all of the predictions, including mine, that the justices would, would not have a problem with this law were wrong. Justice Kennedy, the swing vote, was enormously skeptical. Justice uh, Alito, Justice Scalia were constantly skeptical. Justice Thomas didn't say anything, but we know his position on the issue. The only conservative justice who looked like he might uphold the law was Chief Justice Roberts, who asked question, hard questions of both sides. Just, all four liberal justices tried as hard as they could to uh, make the arguments in favor of the law, but um, they, were, they, they did not meet with this, their success uh, uh, with their colleagues. Most surprising to me, perhaps, Donald Verrilli, the Solicitor General, did a simply awful job defending the law. He was nervous. He was not. Uh, he was not uh, w well spoken. Um, the the argument got off to a very bad start for the administration, and it was really the liberal justices who carried the argument much more than the the lawyer. The, the argument that seemed to give Justice Kennedy the most trouble, and he is, of course, as we know, the swing vote in so many issues. Justice Kennedy, practically his first question out of the box was, we know that uh, Congress can regulate commerce, but can Congress create commerce? Can And, and uh, Don Verrilli had a great deal of trouble answering that question. He said no, but, but he said we're not creating commerce here. Um, there was um, a lot of discussion of the issue. Uh, the liberal justices kept making the point that we've discussed here many times that people who refuse to buy health insurance are in fact part of the health insurance market. They are in fact uh, imposing costs on the taxpayer. And Paul Clement, who was representing the 26 states challenging the law, um, uh, responded that um, if you believe that not acting is is commerce there's no limiting principle to that and uh, certainly the conservative justices were very uh, responsive uh, to that